On February 2nd, just after dawn, a shadowy society of weather worshippers and rodent keepers pulls a groundhog from its burrow to predict the future. If the giant squirrel sees its shadow, it's another six weeks of winter. For the past decade, the world's most famous groundhog, Punxsutawney Phil, has predicted a lot of long winters. But according to government documents, for most of the past 20 years, the winter-like season has ended earlier than usual. Is Punxsutawney Phil a climate change denier, or is he just bad at his job? Winter is shrinking in its season. It's not lasting as long and it's not getting quite as cold, but that doesn't come in a bubble. It doesn't mean, oh, we're just losing winter. Throughout the year, summer heat is sprawling out. Spring weather is coming earlier and fall weather is stretching later. And here's winter squeezed in the middle. By the end of the century, most US cities could see their number of freezing nights cut in half. Winter's the fastest warming season for a lot of the country. Now, initially that might sound good to some people because they don't like the snow nor the cold, but that does come with a whole host of consequences. So what happens when you shrink the cold season? Around two billion people worldwide, including most of the American West, rely on melting snow for water. Snowpack is great. It's like having a water savings account, delivering a steady supply of hydration year round. But with warmer, shorter winters, more of that precipitation will fall as rain. That means flooding in the winter and drought in the summer. This apple was grown in Washington state, and this orange was grown in California. A region's climate basically determines what a farmer can grow. Changing season lengths could throw that all out of whack. Warmer winter weather can make trees blossom earlier, and then a late winter cold snap can wipe out entire crops. That's what happened in the southeast in 2017. It got warm really early. Things started just blooming everywhere, and when a cold front came through, it killed off a lot of the peach crop in Georgia, and it rose to the level of a billion dollar disaster. A lot of pests can't survive in the cold, and that means winter temperatures shape the borders of their ranges. Take the Gulf Coast tick. Here's a map of its historical range. Here's how it's shifted. Warmer winters are a major factor in this change. And you can see that northern creep in all sorts of nasty creatures, from mosquitoes to farm and forest pests. Ice-free Arctic winters could open up all sorts of geopolitical tensions as countries try to use the region for new military or oil exploration. Some research even suggests that a warming north could be changing the way the jet stream curves. That could cause long floods in some places or heat waves in others. And all of these stresses on food, water, and local economies could displace the people who rely on these stable seasons. So this Groundhog Day, say what you will about rodents predicting the weather. But if Punxsutawney Phil predicts an early spring, there's a pretty good chance that he'll be right.